Hey everyone, I'm Johan and this is Orson and this is an extra little Halloween episode of Go Ahead and Make Me. Go Ahead and Make Me. Now there are two reasons for this extra episode of Go Ahead and Make Me. Um, the most important reason being that I want to say a big thank you to all of you out there because somehow I've reached 500 subscribers um, which when I started this channel a year ago, I never thought was going to happen. Thank you so much for your support. It means so much to me. Now, the second reason is that I wanted to show you some quick uh, examples of Halloween wreaths. Um, I know wreaths are usually more reserved for uh, Christmas, of course, but you can make fantastic wreaths for Halloween as well. And even though Orson seems to be bored by the idea, um, I think we can make some fantastic things with very simple means. Um, it involves no sewing, no gluing, no nothing, uh, just a few objects that I'll show you in a second. And um, I've even seen uh, Halloween trees. I think that's perhaps a step too far. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't think I would put up a Halloween tree and then having to take it all down again. And then in a month's time you have to put up the Christmas tree again. I think it's all a bit too much. But a wreath I'm all for. Um, let's make some. So the basic frame that we're going to use are these wreath frames that you usually would use for Christmas. Um, you can buy them in craft shops. If you can't find those, maybe you could use a cardboard circle like this one. Or maybe even cut your own. Um, the basic material is this black tool. It's extremely cheap material. Um, you can buy meters of it for a handful of coins. Um, we'll just wrap it around the basic frame. No sewing is involved, you just wrap it around. And then you have the leftover, you just let it naturally fall down, like so. Um, yeah, you don't have to attach it in any way. Then I have these little purple lights. I know they come across as blue on the screen, I think. But they are uh, purple. Um, you just add them to the to the wreath. And then, uh, yeah, these, it's these spiders, I love them. They've been uh, on the episode before. Um, they're just so decorative and they're so effective. Um, even just like this, I really love this. Um, I added some little skeletons and again, no glue or sewing. I just attached them to the already uh, existing tool and the the wire wires of the the lamps, the little lights. Um, yeah, this is just really simple, but super effective. There you go, little guy. Um, then I put on a third one as well. And to finish it, I thought a pop of color, uh, some Halloween orange, a nice little bow on the side. And there we go. Um, yeah, I think this looks really effective already with like a minimum of effort. There it is. Looks great. Um, then I found this other tool which had these little pumpkins, these glitter pumpkins printed on it. I put that to one side of the wreath. And then I put this little doll on it that I made myself, about which more later. Um, yeah, he's just sitting there being his jolly self. I think uh, it looks great. Um, then another character is this, this skeleton bat. That They were everywhere this year. Uh, I think he's really effective. You just put him in the middle and then to make it a bit more um, jolly i suppose uh, i added these jack-o-lanterns uh, little plastic uh, baskets very effective and then in the end if you really can't be bothered with all of that even just putting a scary mask in the middle it works it's super effective so the doll that i just showed you in the wreath uh, is this one uh, i basically improvised him i didn't use a pattern of any kind um, his head is made of some kind of uh, faux velvet. The rest of him is just printed fabrics. Um, I was actually going to 
make a tutorial for you to make this doll. Um, but yeah, I didn't have enough time uh, on top of everything else to make another tutorial in time for Halloween. Uh, he also made him a little friend in contrasting colors, as you can see. So I'm sorry there wasn't enough time for me to create a tutorial uh, for these dolls, but um, it's in the pipeline and it'll, it'll be there next year, I promise. I got some really nice uh, reactions to the last episode, the last Halloween episode. Um, you seem to have liked it, which I'm very pleased about because I put some effort into it. So, um, yeah, I love that you liked it. Um, there was also some, some speculation about the lady in uh, that episode, uh, the witch. Um, some people even suggested that it was actually me. Um, all I can say is, well, no. I would, I would never. I mean, I would never do drag. Um, I would never shave off my beard. Um, it just happens to be a bit shorter right now. That's all. It's just a coincidence. So, um, I would never. No. Which, please. Once again, thanks for watching. Um, it was a short little episode, but before you know it, we'll be back because it'll be Christmas and then we'll be doing all our Christmas projects. I mean, can you believe how fast uh, time has flown? It's, it's insane. Um, yeah, I hope to see you all then. Thanks, see ya.